all the time. I lose what the heck I was even looking at to begin with. Oh, right here. Look at this. This is some kind of an artificial insulation that has been built. Look, here's a perfect square. Here's perfect right angles. Here are two arches. Here is an arch that goes over something that goes underneath it. What is it? I don't know. But I can assure you that it is artificial. It is not natural. Next. Look at how this has been flattened out here. And I think there were some gnomes or something here, if I remember correctly. I can't see it now. Next. And next. Now this is the photograph that I took of the base across the crater. See the tower? We're looking all the way across the crater Copernicus and you can still see that tower sticking up. That's how big it is. That's what caught my eye. And then I began to photo take macro photographs. It wasn't until we really developed the film that we knew that we had anything from that because this is the photograph that I was photographing. That's why NASA put it in the book. They overlooked it. Next. That's Kepler again. Next. Ah, that's the crater Copernicus. That's the one. This is the photograph that I took the pictures over there. The last one you looked at was a close-up of about this area. And the close-ups that you saw where the base was were right in here. Next. That's the one, remember, we talked about, uh, we didn't know what it was. It looked like a bulldozer had run back and forth inside the crater. Next. Uh, next. 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 Boulders, downhill, moonquakes. There's the Christian cross. This is the base again. These are the buildings in here. Next. These are photographs of Mars, ladies and gentlemen. What you're looking at is agricultural terracing. Ancient agricultural terracing. You can follow each terrace all the way around. NASA says this is wind erosion. But NASA tells us that Mars doesn't have any appreciable atmosphere. Only 1% as dense as Earth's. Next. Next. These lines are exactly like the lines on Nazca. And you can see that they, each line carves into the lip of that crater. Next. Here you can see the face on Mars. Up here you can see an arrow in the surface of Mars. See it? Over here you can see pyramids, what we call the fort, we don't know what it is. Incredible, damn right it is. Look at this plateau with these buildings on top of it. Next, or whatever they are. Another view. Next, under computer enhancement the face has eyeballs and also has teeth. Up here, I was reading this book, which is the Encyclopedia of Space or something put out by NASA, and this is covered Mars. And on here I noticed this Mars airplane, robotic surface exploration, Mars airplane, what are they talking about? They told me Mars only has an atmosphere one one hundredth as dense as the Earth, yet they're preparing to build a Mars airplane. Well, maybe my concept of a plane is wrong. Let's pursue it a little further. Next. There's an official NASA photograph of the Mars airplane that they intend to build. 
If what they tell us about the atmosphere of Mars is true, this airplane will not fly in the atmosphere of Mars. It's absolutely impossible. Look at the nose of that airplane, ladies and gentlemen. You will see a propeller spinning. <laughs> Next. Yeah, this confirms the alternative three scenario. Franklin D. Martin, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration, has the host of reasons for sending humans to Mars. But after he gives all those reasons, he says, science is one of the reasons you do these things, but it's not the driver. The driver is the survival of the human race. Next. These are some more of those lines like Nazca on Mars. Here you see the arrow. Next. Next. Oh. Okay, let's uh, go back one and change slide trains. We're almost through the slides and we can get into some serious stuff. <laughs> Now, if you won't believe all this other stuff, do you, how many people? 